every woman It's all in me Anything you want to me <laughs> What's going on everybody? You know who it is. It's your favorite perfumer's favorite perfumer, Casper Parfums. And today I'm in the car. I wanted to record in the house yesterday. However, life just decided to life itself. And unfortunately, I didn't get to do it in the house. I actually missed my house and doing the last two videos. I was really into it. But, you know, every time I'm in the house, my baby's asleep. And you can't really f around and wake her up. God damn, I'm cursing already. Can't mess around wake her up because if you affect her nap then you affect her the rest of the day and then you gotta deal with it then it tapers into the nap it's a however if this is your first time here did i say you know who it is did i say that you know who it is it's your favorite perfumer's favorite perfumer catch part i did say that right i have no idea oh boy anyways today we have from the house of amawash we have reflection woman bitch in the mirror Perfumer, we have Maurice, Monsieur, Maurice, Rossell, and top note to the fragrance are green leaves, freesia, water violet, whatever the fuck that is, middle notes of magnolia, jasmine, there's a little crossover with molecules and shit like that between magnolia and jasmine, and base of cedar, sandalwood, and amber. I just want to point out, because I try to drop little, little hot plates for you, little gems, cedar, doesn't last that long to really be considered a base note in my opinion i feel like it usually begins to taper off at about the maybe two hours on skin anyways let's get into it okay got it let's go in with a little tree spray them team that light really like threw off my my vision so off rip this smells okay it's kind of in my mouth not great so off rip, you're already picking up two things. One, well, three things. Ionones, cucumber, and um, aquatic notes. So ionones are what lends itself to violet. And I guess that's where the water violet's coming from because there's probably something called helionol in there, which is a water molecule, slightly ozonic. It is very nice. And then also, that cucumber could be coming from a couple of things. But what I'm thinking, because... What I'm thinking is there's this material called trans 26 non 90 dnl right? I believe I mentioned it before, and it's also known as violet aldehyde or cucumber aldehyde, and it kind of lends itself to both categories. And one would assume that because that aldehydic odor that comes through it, it does lend itself a little bit on the aquatic side, so I guess that's where the marketing decided to call it fucking water violet, whatever, you know, they just make up shit because it's what they do. And you're also picking up the freesia. So what's in freesia, one of the main odorants of freesia is something called terpeniol. Now, terpeniol is an alcohol, but so something I believe I can't find to get myself is a higher quality version of terpeniol, which is called lindenol. So I've never smelled lindenol, but they could be using, I would assume they're using it solely based on the fact that they could get a bunch of materials and molecules that I just can't get because I'm not big dogs yet. But when, I, but when I'm big dogs, I'm gonna get Lindenol. I'm gonna make a Freesia perfume. There's nothing you can do about it. So now a couple of florals are coming through. You're starting to pick up that hedion now, like once that top is sort of dissipating. Cause there's a, I wanna say like a slight element of citrus, which is usually coming from linalol and linalol acetate. Those are two molecules that make up a large portion of bergamot. They make up a large portion of most lavenders and lavandin which is similar to lavender, similar chemical structure. Yeah, so that hedione is coming through and you're starting to pick up some of those magnolia notes. So the things that like would make up portions of magnolia would be like hydroxycitronellol, which is, um, it is restricted, but I believe they, they up how much you can use in a perfume, which is really nice because it is a nice, it's a nice lily of the valley material. It works in so many flowers. It has nice volume to it. So those of you just want to know something that has volume it means it's something that can last a long time and hold diffusivity 
throughout the duration of the fragrance. So it is very nice and it's apparent. And then you're kind of picking up something called benzyl salicylate, which a lot of people can't smell. It's very close to odorless, but it works as like a floralizer. So when you use it, it helps just add this. I don't want to say like a cloud. I feel like that molecule is like Hedion's older sister, right? Because I don't can. It's not really a masculine type odor, but I use it all the time. I fucking love that shit, man. It's very nice. So I did three sprays. I'm in the car. And unless I develop some temporary anosmia right now, it's not really projecting like the, the other Amouage fragrances I've smelled. It's not really all that powerful. And as of right now, what was on the top was absolutely better, in my opinion, to where we're at. This is actually very weak. Like, you see that? This fragrance is the opposite of your boy. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm fucking jacked, bro. Yeah, it's falling kind of flat. It's kind of just like this Hedio Musk blend right now. And you're not picking up any cedar. Also, I want to say about the cedar thing. When they say cedar base note or amber base note, in my opinion, I think it's typically because they just use Ice Wee Super. Ice Wee Super is like the most used fucking molecule next to Hedion and Ice Wee Super it's uh its name is called patchouli ethanone but in my opinion it doesn't really lend itself to patchouli it's a lot closer to cedar and then it's also considered an amber so I'm assuming that's also why they put that in the marketing because marketing is bullshit so here's the problem so in my opinion I think this is this is feminine leaning but it's like a little too weak and I know Amawash charges like a fucking arm and a leg for their fragrances and I'm not big on like, oh, I need massive amounts of projection and longevity. I don't care. Like, I don't care if it's a if it's a skin scent, but it's really nice. And it's not even, you know what I mean? It's not really hitting that mark. So I feel like I don't really know if this is worth it or not. And I'm well moisturized. So, because I worked out this morning because I got to get it in. I got to fucking drop some pounds of going to Mexico. I got to flex on the, flex on the tourist, you know what I'm saying? So I shower, and after I shower, I fucking moisturize myself. I use my baby's lotion because it's for sensitive skin, you know what I'm saying? Not that I have sensitive skin. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, to be honest, right now. But anyways, I don't know. Maybe it might work better on other people. Maybe other people who have smelled this will say that, oh, no, it actually projected really nicely on me. However, on myself, it's just not. Yeah, it's kind of like really flat right now, like really flat. And I can't see much more happening at this point. The top was nice in my opinion, but I mean, they should have tried somehow to carry it. And then also assuming because they use violet, a lot of times ionones, which as I mentioned are, so there's like, I would say like the main three ionones that get used are a form of methyl ionone. So there's like alpha isomethyl ionone, methyl ionone gamma. Those are probably like the two main methyl ionones they use. And then there's something called alpha ionone and beta ionone. Beta ionone in my opinion is a little bit more fruity more of like a red fruit berry type but it lends itself violet and then alpha ionone is very violety to me but they do cause like your nose to shut down so if there's like a high dose of those two because methyl ionone to me doesn't really shut your shit down but alpha and beta kind of do a lot of times like if you smell them on a strip you're like if you do like i'm not doing blow bumps right now but if you smell those two, sometimes it does tend to shut your shit down and anything else after that, you're kind of like misconstrued and you got to wait maybe like 20 minutes or so just to like get your, sh your bearings back. But I'm talking about a lot of things aside from this fragrance because as I said, it's very flat. It's not that good. I was actually kind of excited because everything else I've smelled from Amawash so far has been very good. So this is not a hit. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? It should have thrown it in the trash. So I guess that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope maybe I helped you. Oh, also, it is it is definitely feminine when it existed. But since it doesn't exist anymore, I guess it's unisex, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to get some content out. I hope this new camera angle is decent because I'm still in this fucking rental. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Have a blessed day.